The Starliner is in serious jeopardy. After being plagued by crippling delays, it seems like it may be too late for Boeing's crewed space transport, as NASA is losing all confidence in the project. Let's take a closer look at the disappointing truth about the Starliner and how Boeing has failed to accomplish a task that SpaceX is executing regularly. Sending astronauts to and from the International Space Station, ISS, has become an ordinary and routine endeavor thanks to SpaceX. It's akin to our daily commute to work where we leave in the morning and return in the evening. However, for a particular company, accomplishing this task poses a significant challenge. This company in question is Boeing, with its Starliner spacecraft. Many years have elapsed since NASA selected Boeing to handle launch operations within the commercial crew program. Nevertheless, the outcome thus far has been consistent delays and escalating costs associated with Boeing and its spacecraft. The prolonged waiting and continuous disappointment may be causing NASA to gradually lose patience. The question now arises, should NASA continue to wait for the Starliner or is it time to explore other options? Following the retirement of the Space Shuttle program in 2011, NASA found itself in a situation where it had to depend on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for nearly 10 years to transport astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS. This reliance, aside from being inconvenient, raised concerns for a prominent global power like the United States. The prospect of depending heavily on another nation, especially one considered a major rival like Russia, was far from ideal. In response to this challenge, NASA embarked on a mission to restore its autonomy in missions related to the ISS. To achieve this, the agency initiated a groundbreaking approach, enlisting the assistance of private companies to design and construct spacecraft for astronaut transportation. This strategic move was executed under the umbrella of the Commercial Crew Program. In the framework of this program, two prominent companies were entrusted with the responsibility of serving as NASA's wings, Boeing with its Starliner and SpaceX with its Dragon spacecraft. In 2014, NASA allocated a significant budget for these endeavors, awarding Boeing a contract valued at $4.2 billion and SpaceX a contract worth $2.6 billion. Notably, NASA later disbursed an additional $300 million to Boeing, bringing their total contract value to $4.5 billion. However, the outcomes and progress of these two ventures have not entirely aligned with initial expectations. Let's delve into the Boeing contract, which commands a substantial sum of $4.5 billion. In this contract, NASA stipulated that Boeing should execute between two to six crewed flights to the ISS. According to the original timeline, Starliner's maiden crewed flight was slated for launch in 2017. However, six years have elapsed since that projection, and regrettably, no NASA astronaut has had the opportunity to embark on a Starliner journey to the ISS. So what transpired during these six years? In May 2016, Boeing decided to postpone their testing efforts by eight months. This delay was driven by the need to reduce the spacecraft's mass and address aerodynamic issues. Consequently, the flight schedule was rescheduled for 2018 and 2019. Unfortunately, in July 2018, a significant setback occurred when a hypergolic propellant leak took place, resulting in further delays for these flights. It wasn't until November 2019 that the crucial test finally took place. Although the test demonstrated a successful landing, a critical issue surfaced. One of the three parachutes failed to function correctly. This parachute problem has remained a source of concern for Boeing even today. Just a month later, the first test flight was launched. However, this flight encountered a troublesome error that prevented it from successfully connecting and docking with the ISS. Instead, it was forced to land at White Sands, New Mexico within two days of takeoff. Subsequently, extensive investigations were conducted, revealing two serious software errors that were believed to have contributed to the spacecraft's near destruction had they not been identified and rectified. Addressing these issues proved to be a lengthy endeavor, with Boeing investing two and a half years to rectify the errors and address other associated problems. Finally, in May 2022, Boeing managed to launch the second test flight. Fortunately, this time, the flight successfully docked at the ISS and safely returned to Earth. This achievement bolstered confidence in Boeing's capabilities and optimism grew that the inaugural crewed Starliner flight would soon become a reality. However, this optimism quickly faded as Boeing's plans for the crewed flight encountered a series of disappointments. Initially slated for December 2022, the launch date was pushed back to February 2023. Subsequently, it faced further delays, shifting to April, then July, and most recently, the new target date has been set for at least March 2024. The most recent delay in Boeing's Starliner program was attributed to the discovery of two critical errors with their spacecraft. These issues pertain to the parachute system and the P213 glass cloth tape that covers the electrical wires within the capsule. Boeing has expressed its commitment to rectify these issues this year and is aiming to conduct a crewed flight in March of 2024. However, there's a substantial emphasis on the caveat, if everything goes well, 
as even Boeing acknowledges the unpredictability of space missions, as evidenced by Mark Nappy, the vice president and program manager for Starliner, who refrained from committing to specific dates. To put this in perspective, the timeline stretches from 2017 when Starliner's first flight was initially scheduled to 2030 when the ISS is set to cease operations. Within this time frame, Boeing has consumed more than half of the allotted time, six years, without achieving a crewed flight. While we await further developments and the March 2024 target, it's essential to consider the consequences of these delays for Boeing. In July, Boeing released its second quarter cost report for this year, revealing that the total costs for Starliner had reached $257 million. Since 2014, Boeing's losses on the Starliner program have amassed to a staggering $1.47 billion. If the delays persist, Boeing will bear the full brunt of these costs, and they may even be required to reimburse a portion of the funds NASA provided. Regrettably, the once promising Starliner project has transformed from a hopeful wing to a burdensome one, not only for NASA, but for Boeing itself, accumulating costs that now reach into the billions of dollars. In stark contrast to the absence of Boeing's Starliner, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft has proven to be a formidable and reliable wing for NASA. Notably, SpaceX's most recent flight, which took place on August 26th, successfully transported the Crew-7 team to the International Space Station. This marked the second crewed flight of SpaceX's Dragon for NASA this year, and the seventh overall since 2020. Impressively, just a little over a week later, on September 3rd, Crew-6 safely returned astronauts back to Earth. Looking ahead, the next mission, Crew-8, is scheduled for early next year. Focusing solely on this year's accomplishments, Dragon's track record is already sufficient to overshadow Starliner's setbacks. Additionally, it's worth noting that the cost per seat on the Crew Dragon is notably lower than that of the Starliner, coming in at around $55 million per seat, nearly half the cost of the Starliner's $90 million per seat. Last year, in response to the persistent delays with Boeing Starliner, NASA made a significant decision. They acquired an additional five Crew Dragon flights to ensure the smooth operation of the International Space Station until its retirement. This move elevated the total number of Crew Dragon flights to 14. This decision also underscores the pivotal role and influence of Dragon in NASA's spaceflight program. With its cost effectiveness and reliability, the Crew Dragon has demonstrated its superiority over Boeing's product. Perhaps it's time for NASA to make a more decisive choice regarding whether to continue waiting for the Starliner, a project worth $4.5 billion. One of the primary reasons NASA has shown patience with the Starliner program is likely tied to financial considerations and concerns about monopolizing the market. NASA hesitates to abandon the investments of time and money they've poured into Starliner. Additionally, they aim to avoid granting SpaceX a monopoly over their commercial crew project. However, the outcomes thus far have fallen short of NASA's expectations. In the end, NASA finds itself in a frustrating position, forced to wait day by day, month by month, and year by year as they witness their investments dwindle due to ongoing delays. It's a situation they undoubtedly dislike, but given the limited alternatives, they must continue to rely on SpaceX's Dragon to fulfill their mission. For Boeing, the Starliner project is facing a slow but steady decline due to the persistent issues of expenses and delays. Without substantial and practical improvements, explanations for these setbacks become increasingly futile. It wouldn't be surprising if NASA's six-year-long hope for Starliner to become fully operational were to fade away entirely. In such a scenario, the question arises, will there be replacements for Starliner, or will SpaceX's Crew Dragon take the lead, as it is more than capable of fulfilling the mission requirements? As Boeing's expected timeline for March 2024 draws nearer, it could represent a critical turning point for the Starliner project. This upcoming opportunity may be their last chance to prove the spacecraft's worth and secure its future. However, the primary focus for Boeing should not be on surpassing SpaceX's Crew Dragon, but rather on finding a way to salvage their own project. At this point, the challenges faced by Boeing extend beyond financial concerns. They now encompass their reputation and credibility. Though it seems unlikely, Boeing still has time to turn things around with the Starliner and make it spaceworthy. After all, having multiple reliable crewed transports is something that will only benefit humanity's efforts to explore the cosmos. What do you think? Can Boeing catch up to SpaceX or is it too late? Uh, please share your thoughts in the comments below.